So these are the Tarsier Eclipses by a company called Matbox. They're made in America and they're effectively an adjustable iris or PVS-14 optics. So the objectives in this case. Um, this is the DTMVS uh, using L3 unfilmed white phosphor tubes. Um, and in this situation, um, the Matbox Tarsiers are really, really good. Um, for L3 tubes. Now, what do the Tarsiers do? Well, the Tarsiers are an adjustable iris that allows you to control the amount of light coming in. It effectively adds manual gain to your unit, which is quite cool. However, also allows you to see things close up. Like, for instance, on this camera right now, the pelly box behind is blurry. As I take this away, it becomes not blurry. That's because the lens on this camera is running at 2.8 f-stops. With this, I can go from 1.2, which is the default for the objective, all the way to basically infinity. And that will allow me to see close and far at the same time. Now. I'm going to show you a demo, I'll show you an example of what this looks like. Um, so the other thing is, because you can close these, you basically get daytime uh, sort of safe cap. Um, now I'd never recommend turning them on in daytime, but it's there. Um, so when you're not using them, you can just close them. And if they are on, then it's not going to be raping your tubes. So if I turn the unit on, you'll see that we can see our images. So if I um, sort of bring this down, uh, turn manual focus on this lens and get it focused in you can see that we can see the um, the box with quite a bit of detail now if I open the iris you'll see that the image starts to get much much blurrier if I start to close it we get a lot more detail same thing for this side if I start to open it you see it gets much blurrier. If I start to close it, you see more detail. Now you obviously see that when I open it, the tube auto gates there, as you can see. There you go, it tones down. So it's not gonna get brighter than that. However, you've got all this extra sort of blurriness from the tube uh, because you're running it at a much brighter, um, well, sorry, the f-stops are lower. So because of that, you get much blurrier image. Now this is completely safe. This will work all day in here, no problem, because the pinhole sort of caps are limiting a lot of the light coming in. Um, but also, I can actually see the box in very high quality, which you wouldn't be able to see if you didn't have these caps. And that's kind of a neat feature that you can do that. Um, again, very simple design, but it's a very genius design. Now, the other thing I've noticed is with L3 specifically, you have a problem. And that problem is dark streaking. Um, on generation three devices, uh, specifically very high spec L3 tubes like these, you get a problem where a buildup of electrons, I believe, uh, on the MCP cause a sort of dark image effect. Um, it appears as though there's a burn in your tube. It's not really that. Uh, it's just simply a phenomenon um, where uh, you get an oversaturation of the MCP and the image as a result uh, is darker in that area. It makes it look like a burn, it's not. The cool part about the Tarsiers is if I have a situation where I have the iris open all the way and I look across a really bright street lamp and it ends up sort of giving me a dark streak which will go away in about a minute what I can do is I can kind of just restrict it down because I probably don't need it to be that bright if I'm in that situation anyway and the dark streak effectively will just magically disappear and I think the reason for that is because the tube is going to be running at full gain um, trying to resolve an image because there's not a lot of light coming in um, and because of that it will sort of reset the uh, the MCP or 
flush out the MCP uh, because it will try and sort of amplify as much light as possible um, even though it's being constricted and that seems to get rid of dark streaks which is kind of cool um, because it's a bit of a solution for that problem um, so yeah so what's the negatives to the Tarzir eclipses well the first negative is the price $250 per cap quite a lot of money um, it could definitely be twice as cheap um, hundred dollars per would not be a bad uh, price um, but two hundred and fifty dollars I mean five hundred dollars for a pair is a lot of money um, but to be honest if you're spending out ten grand on a unit um, you should probably get one anyway because they're definitely worth it um, the functionality that they add on um, even though you wouldn't assume uh, is an awful lot and they're, they're they are worth the money second thing they don't look brilliant, um, but they do kind of grow on you, like a lot of things, some things you find quite ugly at the start, um, but as you sort of understand their functionality, um, it start of, uh, you start to uh, sort of appreciate it, and because of that you actually start to like it. And I think that's the one of the situations with the Tarsiers, is I, I like the look of them because they just make sense the design makes sense and I think that's the the part that makes me like them um, in terms of design um, is the functionality just kind of justifies it <coughs> um, yeah that's pretty much it um, they're expensive but they are worth it and um, if you have something like an L3 unit or a very high gain unit, these are an absolute must. If you have Echoes, Echo Plus, Echo, they're probably going to be pretty good for you. Um, just don't expect the <laughs> a, a bright image or a usable image in darker environments uh, with these. Um, now, don't get me wrong, these will, if you sort of turn into a pinhole like they are right now, and go into a dark room. You're not going to see jack shit with these. Um, you know, you're just not. It's not how night vision works. Um, if you sort of open it up to maybe there, then you'll see everything in the room. But because you're constricting so much light, you're not going to see anything. But with um, photonis tubes, you're going to see a significantly darker image. And that's one thing that you need to kind of watch out for. Is they might not really be worth it for you depending on what, what sort of setup you got. I think the brighter the image um, you're receiving through your night vision, um, the more you're going to want these. Um, and the darker the image, the less you're going to want them. Because to utilize these to their full um, sort of potential, especially to get that close sort of depth uh, effect in, you definitely need um, sort of high output tubes so you know high gain high photo cathode sensitivity etc uh, otherwise they're just not really going to work for you um, but yeah they're, they're pretty cool and um, I definitely say they're worth the money 